look who's still home but just about to leave. Well, it's quarter to six. Yeah. And there's Riley. <laughs> and here's me. <laughs> there's Riley again. That's much nicer to look at. <laughs> look at this deliciousness. It's messy looking, but avocado and salsa on toast. I am looking forward to you. I've got a mess that I've got to clean. Nappy laundry that needs to be folded. A very happy baby that wants to be watched. You want to be watched? Yeah. And of course, as always, I got laundry to hang because that is story of my life all day, every day. Hey guys, I got Riley here as always. I love baby wearing. Um, I feel like it's really nice to have her close to me all day, and obviously it makes it easier to get things done. But, and this is a big but, everything takes 10 times longer to do when you're wearing your baby. Now, I can put her down and do the same thing infinitely faster, but I have to listen to her shriek while I'm doing it. So I choose to wear her instead because it keeps her happy most of the time. Are you a happy girl? Yeah, she's a happy girl right now. But, um, yeah. So, because everything takes way longer, or I suppose it happens anyway regardless when you have a baby. Your standards for cleanliness just nosedive. Like, it's really funny because I remember when I was pregnant, I used to say that I hoped Riley made me a bit more relaxed about that kind of stuff because I've always been, not always been, but you know, in recent years, I've been very anal about how I keep things. Um, you know, and I like things clean and I like things a certain way. Not the way that this living situation is now. I've got stuff everywhere. I don't even know where stuff is. My closet is scary. Um, yeah. I'm just looking at a mess all around me and I think I choose to be okay with it because I'd rather just spend time with her. Are you looking at mommy's hand off in the uh she was watching my hand moving around. Yeah. Oh, do you want to touch mommy's hand? Isn't that sweet? You see, why wouldn't I want to spend time with her? She's so cute. <coughs> but seriously, I need to figure out something about this dirt pile that I'm living in because I think I can only accept it for so long. Good news. The banana drought is officially over. Uh, three days, I think. Three days, no bananas. But today, uh, where are we? There's the uh, banana dash. We've got about 10. we got the uh, white rice bananas. Finally spotty, just about edible. Uh, I've eaten one. I ate one just to confirm the. Uh, can you see that? Yeah, somewhere down there. Just to confirm the uh, official end of the drought. And now I've got four freebies from Nick and Jen at work. Gotta love it when people don't like ripe bananas. Uh, I don't know what the girls have been living on. Gotta check the banana stash when I get home, just in case. So this is how I spend most of my day, pottying Riley. Lately, because I've been offering her the potty quite a bit, I spend a lot of time putting her on the potty. Um, I do need to figure out a quicker method of getting her ready for the potty, because as you can see right now, it's like I'm taking her out of her diaper. I like to wipe her down, because I don't really want to hold a dirty baby over the potty. And then after I'm done wiping her down, I will um, pull her onto the potty. This is her wet nappy. Put that to the side, put a dry nappy down on top of the um, nappy cover. Nappy, not nappy, potty into my lap. And then we pick up the baby. We pick up the baby and they very quickly are on the potty. She usually likes to suck my thumb while she's on the potty. Yep, there she goes. And this is the part where we just wait and rock. Did you guys 
hear that? Can you make poop? Oh, you're really lucky this isn't smell-o-vision because if you didn't hear it, well, you would be smelling it. Whew. Good job, Ducky. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you think it's funny that you made poop poofs? You think it's funny? Sounds like she just did a little bit. Although, sometimes when I pull her off, it's surprising that it's actually quite a bit. Mm. <laughs> just to give me a chance to, um, I just lost my hair tie. My hair tie just fell into the potty, aka into her poops and peas. So that will be going into the trash. Lucky day. Job done. Heading home via oh, that gear changes. A stick shift. Need an automatic. Uh, heading home, sort of via the shops. Didn't quite manage to get a greenhouse together yesterday. So we ran out of bolts because I sheared a few off, taking it apart, and then we sheared a few more off, putting it back together again. So I need a few more bolts, and Dee Dee wanted something from the town centre shops. So conveniently, I can go there and pick up some bolts, hopefully, and finish off the greenhouse. Also, very convenient is the trip to the shops goes straight past the allotment. So, uh, I'm such a man, I can't do two things at once. Turning the corner and talking is difficult. So, uh, I've got the water bottles in the back that I use to uh, water the plants with at home because I don't like using the tap water. So I go to the allotment to pick up rainwater that's collected in the water butts. Because the tap water's got fluoride and chlorine in and a million other different nasty poisons that you don't really want on your plants, especially in your body. So that's why we have the distiller, because we drink distilled water because the tap water's hot. That's why I only have one shower a week at best. Because I just ugh. Horrible. Horrible tap water. So, picking up some water. As we've got quite a few plants to water at the moment. Um, that's it really. Nothing exciting. I might sneak in a bit of footage of the allotment. And turn it into another garden vlog. We'll see. Here we are, allotment one. And then, allotment two. Both looking like poo. I'm sure we'll uh, grow something this year. In the water. Ready to go. Better hit the shops. <laughs> she always does that one syllable yeah. giggle. I love it. <laughs> All right, we're having spaghetti and meatballs for dinner. Uh, vegan meatballs, of course. They're by the brand V Bites or Veggie Deli. I think they go by a couple different names, but it's all the same company. Um, I've clearly been on a bit of a mood where I don't really care as long as it's vegan. I know it's not the healthiest, but like I said, I don't really care. It's vegan and it tastes delicious. Mm. And check this out, guys. Daddy got a brighter light bulb for the living room so you guys can actually see us when we're vlogging in here now. And you can see how dirty it is. <laughs> Alright guys, it's only 5.30 but as you can see I'm already in my pajamas because I'm about to run a bath for Riley. And then I need to give her a massage, get her in her pajamas, do her on the potty, nurse her. So it'll probably be about 7 o'clock by the time I'm done with all that. Um, and there's a very good chance that she will be really tired and want to sleep by then because she already hasn't had an hour, an, an hour, a nap for quite a few hours. So, 
because of that, it could get very hectic the next couple hours. Hubby is going to leave the house to go pick up some fennel tea because I only have one tea bag left and I need fennel tea to uh, keep Rubird's uh, digestion going. <laughs> um, she does get gassy whenever I've had like less fennel tea throughout the day, so I need to make sure that I have that for tomorrow. So he's going to go pick up the fennel tea and I don't think either of us are going to vlog anymore. If he does do another clip, then I'll just insert it after this. But otherwise, I'm saying goodnight and I hope you all have a good day. Thanks for watching. Fennel tea. The one thing. The one thing specifically not to forget. I forgot. Ugh. Shopping. Again.